This voice adaptation does not infringe any copyright law since it is done with the interest of personal development and public education. It does not involve any monetary transaction. Today's story is Why Tuppy Doesn't Chase Bards Author Why Charashen Well, you have all seen little kittens in your neighborhood, right? Tuppy was a little kitten. So, how Tuppy got his name? When Tuppy is surprised or sees something strange, he makes a funny sound with his lips. When the wind blows in the grass, when a bird flies by, or a butterfly flutters its wings, Tuppy creeps up to it with his eyes wide open, saying, I will catch you, I will pounce on you, I will play with you. And that's how Tuppy got his name. Once, Tuppy heard a soft whistle. There, in the gooseberry bushes, were quick little grey birds hunting for bugs and beetles. Tuppy crept up softly and hid. He held his breath. He didn't even say tap 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 because he was afraid he would scare the birds away. Suddenly he pounced on them. He nearly caught one, but he didn't. Tuppy didn't know how to catch birds. He was only a kitten. You see, Tuppy actually almost caught one bird. Mother Cat thinks Tuppy is still a baby. One day, Tuppy got a spanking. It was Nettie, his mother, who spanked him. Cats always chase their big kittens away when they have little ones, but her little ones had been given away. The next day, she meowed and purred and called to him. Tuppy remembered his spanking. He didn't come to her. He didn't want to get spanked again. Natty purred. Come here, silly. Tuppy licked his chops. He had learned how to drink milk from a saucer but Nettie's milk was much tastier. Finally, he crept over to her. Soon he was fast asleep. Then strange things began to happen. After all, Tuppy was growing up. But Nettie felt he was still a tiny baby. So she rolled him over and began to lick and wash him. Tuppy woke up in surprise. He didn't like his washing. He could wash himself. He wanted to scramble off, but Nettie thought, Lie still. You are a tiny baby. You will get lost if you run away.
she pawed and pawed until she finally fell asleep herself. Then Tuppy climbed out of the basket and went off to have some fun. He was going to catch butterflies and pounce on a sparrow. When Nitty woke up, she saw that her darling little Toppy was gone. He was lost. She ran out into the yard and called to him. There he was, on the roof, running about after sparrows. Nitty rushed up to him. Be careful, you will fall, she warned. But Tuppy didn't even listen. So Nettie took him by the scruff of his neck and carried him down, just as if he were a tiny baby. Tuppy kicked and squealed. He wanted to play on the roof. Once Nettie had him in the basket, she washed him and part. She couldn't understand that Tuppy was a big kitten and didn't need any nanny anymore. Why Tuppy doesn't chase birds? One day Tuppy saw a sparrow sitting on a branch singing a song. <coughs> Sang the sparrow. I will catch you, I will pounce on you, I will play with you. Tuppy said and crept closer. But the sparrow saw him. It chirped still louder. Look, here is a cat. See, here is, here he is hiding. There, there he is. And suddenly, sparrows came flying down from everywhere. They sat on the bushes and branches. Some even landed right in front of Tubby. And they all began to scold. The noise was enough to make you deaf. Tubby became frightened. He had never heard such a racket and ran off as fast as he could. The sparrows kept right on scolding. Then they told each other how brave they had been to scare away a cat. There was no one for Tuppy to catch. No one wanted to be caught. So Tuppy climbed a tree and hid among the branches. He looked this way and that, but he couldn't see any birds. They could see him though. They had been watching him. Then Tuppy saw them. Strange looking birds were staring at him. These were not little grey birds or scolding sparrows. These were nearly as big as he was. They were big black birds looking for a tree in which to build their nests. He looked very strange to them too. Tuppy was very pleased. Who can they be? I will catch you. I will pounce on you. I will play with you. But Tuppy didn't know which one to catch first. One big black bird was sitting in back of him. The other one was sitting in front and very close. Tuppy looked this way and that. First at one, then at the other. 
while he was looking at the one in back, the one in front pecked him. Ouch! That hurt. Tubby couldn't understand who had pecked him. He jumped off the tree and ran into the bushes. And now, whenever he sees a bird, Tubby never pays any attention to it. He doesn't chase birds anymore. See, Tuppy never catches a bird.